You have a little girl that's trying to crawl. I'm trying to roll over. What are you doing? Be good for daddy. Good morning, landing crew. So today is Danielle's endoscopy and her biopsy. And don't you worry if you're new and you have no idea what's going on, or maybe you haven't watched our other videos, I will explain what's going on once we're at the hospital. Danielle is going under anesthesia for this today. We're gonna get going. Let the sun shine in. You ready, Danielle? Ready as I can be. Guys, I have been to this hospital so many times in the past two weeks. It is absolutely insane. But here we are. I did bring some coloring books for me or a coloring book. I love the color by numbers. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, I don't think this is where we're supposed to go, but I'm sure they'll point us in the right direction. So Danielle and I are just waiting for them to call her. We're just goofing off on Instagram. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well. Let's we shall see. never wake up again. Danielle, do not say that. <laughs> I'm already nervous. You, you can't do that. You can't do that. Probably more nervous than she is. Yeah. I can't believe you're looking at it, Danielle. I always have to look away. <laughs> so, Danielle got her IV. She is all ready to go. I think she's going to be sadder about having to part with her phone, though. Probably. She chose to do the IV instead of breathing in the mask thing just because she thought it would be easier. And the nurses said it would be easier, but they tried her right arm first and they blew a vein. Guys, if you've been following us for a while, you know what issues I've had with IVs and being stuck. And when they're like putting an IV in the other arm, I'm like, and I was trying not to say anything because I didn't want to freak Danielle out. I didn't want to freak the nurse out. I didn't want to make her more nervous kind of thing. But I was freaking out. I was like, please don't blow another one because I know how painful it is. I felt like numb. Like, I don't know like what type of numb it hurt. And I'll sing until my arms give out. Okay, so they have taken Danielle back. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, this is such a simple procedure. They said it'd take about 20 minutes, and then they'll look inside, they'll take some pictures, do a little biopsy. If they see anything, they'll come tell me, but regardless, they said sometimes you can't see anything. It might be microscopic. That's why they do the biopsy. We'll be seeing the doctor in a week or two with the biopsy result. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do some coloring. I know I might be too old for this, guys. I loved color by numbering when I was in school. People keep looking at me weird, like, why is this girl in this room talking to a camera? <laughs> right now a few moments later okay so they are all done the doctor came in and talked to me and i realized that i never really explained to you guys what is going on if you are new and you have no idea or maybe you've skipped a few videos basically for the last couple of years danielle has always had to take small bites she's always had to have water by her she's always had to eat slower and we didn't think anything of it really we've also found in the last couple of years that she's allergic to a lot of fruits and nuts and different things in the last like six weeks she's had two choking incidents and not just like your food gets stuck like full-on choking my husband had to perform the Heimlich on her. We had to call 911. Um, it was a big thing. Her pediatrician referred her to a GI doctor and they both were thinking it's EOE. So they wanted to do an endoscopy and a little biopsy to see if it is in fact that. So he showed me pictures. I'm not gonna show you pictures of her esophagus and inside her stomach because that's gross. He said he definitely saw some inflammation, definitely thick, thicker than what it should be. He said that he still thinks it's EOE, that that's what's causing this, but we won't know until the biopsy. So the biopsy we should get in like a week or two and he'll sit down with us and go over the biopsy results because she's also had like nauseous and upset stomach like a lot if you guys watched her video where she saw the GI doctor when she would press on a certain part of her stomach it hurt so I don't know if that was random or if something else is going on I'm just waiting for them to let me go back to the recovery room it was really quick guys like I didn't even get to finish my picture I didn't even get to hardly start my picture and I'll sing until my lungs give out. All right, guys, well, we are done and we are going to go home now. I am not gonna show Danielle on camera because she is really, really groggy. And I know after I get out of surgery, you're just not feeling good. I don't want my face on camera either. She's just kind of out of it, dizzy, like normal post anesthesia thing. So we're gonna go get her something to eat if she's hungry and then just kind of let her just have an easy day and chill out. Did you make this room all messy? 
I haven't seen your new glasses in a while. You like my new glasses? Why do you need them? Because I can't see without them. Usually I wear contacts. Look, pretty girl with your glasses. Thank you. We're going to Busch Gardens tomorrow. Are you excited? I don't like Busch Gardens. There's only roller coasters. That's what you told me. No, there, there. there's little water rides too, little water, water things we can do. I can't even sit up without like feeling a bell. <laughs> Brain surgery successful. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll sing until my arms give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my way. Guys, it is only 11 o'clock. And it feels like it's like 5 p.m. It's 5 p.m. somewhere. I'm so tired. <gasps> Mommy. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Fishes. I was gonna get him cereal. I was like, oh, you want cereal? And he said, yeah. Cereal and milk. You say turn. cereal and milk. Cereal and milk. But back. Are you awake now? <laughs> yeah, you're awake, aren't you? Uh, I've got mom's stuff to do. Penelope needs to get dressed. How are you feeling, Miss Danielle? You're walking around like aimlessly. So I'm just loving these rompers so much. This looks definitely summery. Oh, she might wear this to Bush Gardens later. Hi, you're so cute. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna cuddle with her because she's so cute, guys. We just love my cuddles. She's getting so big. I cannot believe next week she's gonna be five months old. It's so crazy because I just put up her four month update and we did it a little bit late, so. Hey, baby girl. You so cute. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you see yourself, don't you? <sighs> Excuse you? I'm not going to sleep. I'm playing with my baby. That's not your baby. That's my baby. She's my baby. She looks just like me. You're right. She does look just like you. I got a baby. She wants to be a YouTuber, too. I got a bad feeling about this. We'll be back after this short break. <laughs> Mommy? Liam? I'm texting. You texting? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to go to Ikea with us? No, I'm coming. You're coming? <laughs> Do you want me to get you a treat? Have a kiss? No, I'm texting. Oh, do you want to text Sissy? Yeah. Lonnie's finding him a steam mop. <gasps> I can get you. I can get you. I can get you. <laughs> I can get you. Say hi, Sissy. <laughs> He's like, what do you expect me to do with this little thing? What do you expect me to do with this little thing? Oh you and her will be best friends one day. Just you watch. Look how cute he looks. Let's push it back a little bit. There, there you go. We could call you Leah. So that I can hear the sound of people talking. No, I hear baby. <laughs> Was I good daddy? Yes, you were good daddy. You got Liam's special milk. <laughs> so we are on the way to Ikea because we're just going to continually and slowly try to furnish our house and look for things that can kind of make our house more of a home. We have all the little ones with us. I'm not a little one. This Don't. is true. Don't eat all the goldfish. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That doesn't look right, honey. Look at that. That does not look normal. Today's video was this story about how Lex went missing, our three-year-old went missing, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your comments. You've been so nice and gracious through it all. Are you living your best life right now? <clears throat> After the comments on Nellie's update, I really thought that today's comments were just gonna be horrible and ugly. So My thank God. you so much. All of you guys were very, very sweet. And other exciting news, cause I always share things about YouTube that I shouldn't, is our kids channel is now monetized. So thank you guys so much for everyone that's supporting us or supported us. You guys are amazing. This is a huge deal for our family and we are very, very excited. So that I can hear the sound of people talking. It's only ironic that our kids' channel just got monetized because we're at Ikea to get a table for the playroom for the kids to do kids' videos. Okay, so what would we put on those shelves in our room? <laughs> that one's not bad, but that's a little bit too high. That's a bit big. That's like if our entire family was doing a kids' channel. This isn't bad. This is 
because we don't need it super wide. We just need enough room where like two chairs for videos can like fit underneath it. Oh, it's on sale. I'll take this one. We are going to go to the as is section before we check out and see if they have any chairs there. Hi. We've gotten lots of plates because we need them, an iron board, some candles, and some kitchen junk. I think we finally found the desk we're gonna go with. We're gonna see if the as is section has some chairs we can use. Say, I want eats. Is it your bedtime yet? No. I didn't think so. It is eight o'clock, it is his bedtime. Ha ha, joke's on you. It's almost bedtime. So Lonnie is going to do dinner while I take Lonnie Jr. to the salon because we're going to Bush Gardens tomorrow. So Lonnie Jr. wanted to look his best self. But before doing that, I gotta make sure I have my debit card because guys, I'm losing that thing all the time. What do you know? It was in my purse where it belongs. <laughs> we have to do like a quick clean out of our car. It's not too bad, but it's bad. I'll be back. Guys, you have to check out this really cool thing that Lonnie taught Liam. Liam, open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> You're so cute. Your playroom needs some help though, buddy. <laughs> we don't run. God. All right, nothing like chasing Lutz down the road again. All right, so we are here, a few minutes to closing. I don't know that they're gonna love us, but you know, guys, this is what happened. Lonnie Jr. wanted his sides, I guess it's called tapered, where it's not like buzzed, but it's like short. I, of course, said, yeah, just buzz the sides off. It wasn't her fault. Like, she did what I asked her to do, but it wasn't the haircut he was quite she made wanting. It work, okay. <sighs> she made it work. It looks nice though, I like it. You look so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> yes, yeah. All right guys, so we are just getting ready for Bush Gardens hey! tomorrow. We're excited, I am so excited to have just a day of family fun. Like we're just gonna have a fun day. But thank you guys for all the comments also on the closed captioning, you guys were so sweet. But just like your, your words of like how much it meant that we were doing closed captioning, I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. So thank you so much, it is worth the effort. You guys as always make the work worth it. So thank you, we will see you guys tomorrow when we're at a fun, fun park. Let's go. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be